Hey John, uh, good afternoon. First of all, uh, thank you for returning my call. Um, and like I was saying in my message, if you're tired of posting on social media, trying to get clients, and especially if you don't have a website, um, an active website ranking, you are missing a lot of opportunities. I'm going to show you how many clients you can uh, you can you can reach once you start ranking. If you would have a website, um, at least in a couple um, niches that you know. Because uh, I don't want to make this video too long, uh, just showing you know, all the stuff. But first of all, uh, we go to Google and I type a bathroom renovation in J. Uh, the first thing you're gonna see here is this is sponsored by Google. It's like Google Ads, but uh, the difference is that in here you're gonna be paying. Of course, you're gonna be paying every time somebody clicks on your ad, but you need to add more information. They're gonna require more information like um, licenses, insurance, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, I don't recommend Google Ads because uh, I think it's a waste of too much money not seeing the results that you might want, um, but just a personal preference. Um, then we have the map section. If you would have a um, Google business profile, you can definitely appear in the top three. Of, of course, depending on the location of uh, whoever is searching these services. Um, but uh, realistically, from your address, um, we can rank you like 20 mile radius you know, on, on the local map. So that's not bad. Uh, but I mean, you could create your free profile here, um, add the information. You wanna have to just take three things in consideration when you create your profile. Uh, content, um, you need to have images, of course. And when you get reviews, number three, you need to reply to those reviews. Even if you get bad reviews, you need to reply to each one of the reviews because Google loves to see that interaction between service provider and consumer. Um, so that being said, uh, moving on, we have the organic results. Okay, so number one, I always see these guys ranking number one when it comes to uh, bathroom, uh, kitchen, interior renovation kind of stuff. Um, so when uh, number one, we got this Magnolia home remodeling. Number two, we got this bathroom pros in J. Number three, this just bathrooms in J.com. Um, but just for you know, over 70% of the people that do a Google search, they only go for the top three here and the top three here. Not even on the <clears throat> on um, Google, Google Ads is a different story. Um, but yeah, that means that less than 30% will actually scroll all the way down to the page or even go to the second or third page. So very important to understand that because all the fun part, you know, all the good stuff comes in this top position. Now, let's see why these guys are ranking number one. This is a sub page that they have for specific uh, specific service. You can see here, they got magnoliaremodeling.com slash services slash bathroom remodeling. So this is a specific page for this. Now, don't get me wrong, anybody can have a nice looking website, can have a stunning design, but what most people, or web developers tend to underestimate is that if you want to be found, going to be found on Google, you need to have relevant content. And in this, you know, in including this content, you need to have keywords that people are searching for. Okay, because there's no point for you to rank number one on Google if nobody's even picking up the phone and calling you. Okay. Um, so, for example, we see here NJ bathroom remodeling. Right, that's a keyword. That's a heading, and then they surround this keyword with a lot of content when i say content i'm talking about all this text readable that a website has and why is this important because when google analyzes they read through all of this all all of this all of this and they're looking for original relevant information and of course the keywords are going to be sure that you want to be showing up for okay um it's essential uh to follow a couple you know uh, a couple of guidelines when it comes to content because it's not that Google has an actual human being reading all this. It, it will be ideal. They have the software going on and if it doesn't make sense on their end, you're never going to have uh, a chance on showing up. So you see here uh, types of bathroom remodeling and then they surround that including keyword. Here they go. See? All of this. And keyword, I mean, content and content, they understand the value of content. Now, to show you, to show you the numbers, I use this tool called AREFs, and what this does, it picks data from any website based on Google criteria. So you can see here that just this sub page over here, 
this bathroom remodeling specific page is being found for around 348 keywords. And this specific sub page has 15 backlinks. Now, backlinks, this is the second most important part. What are backlinks? Backlinks are other sites or other websites that I mentioned in your name or your business name. And this will give you the power so you can be found on Google, like uh, press releases, um, article, articles talking about your business or your services in specific, pointing to the right keywords that you're supposed to be you know, showing up for. Uh, think about like a popularity contest. The more people you get to talk about you in a positive way from relevant sources, the more relevant you want to become and you stay relevant, right? Same thing happens here with backlinks. Now, let's see what kind of keyword these guys are being found for. I know already because I've seen these guys before. So bathroom remodeling NJ, okay? There's 80 searches a month. And because they're ranking number two, they're getting 30 visits. Those are 30 chances they get to have a client every month that is looking for this. I'm skipping this one because this bathroom remodels near me is more like a national keyword and it works mostly when you are trying to rank local uh, profiles like the Google profile, right? Your Google business profile. Um, and this is to prove a point. Um, what if somebody from California types this and you show up? Unless you're doing business in California, is worthless. Uh, so moving on, uh, moving on, we have a variation of a keyword. For example, bathroom remodels in Jane, 200 searches a month. And because they're ranking number three, they're getting another 26 visits. 26 chances of getting another client that's looking for this. And because they understand that there's, you know, you don't stop just with two keywords, they have all this. New bathroom, they, they found that people are searching for this. New Jersey bathroom remodeling contractor, 70 searches. And you can see that these are guys are ranking. This number over here means that uh, the minimum of um, how much you'll be paying if you would be doing uh, Google Ads. So each click would be 645, the minimum average. So I've seen people paying or bidding for 25, 50, 60, even a hundred dollars a click, um, mostly on roofing. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, you can see here bathroom contractor, New Jersey. Now you said that um, it's more most likely, I think you're going um, Modman County, I think you, you said, or Ocean County. So that was bringing up my question. What if somebody from Bergen County, you know, calls you and asks for a quote about a bathroom renovation? Is that worth it? Only you know, okay? Um, I know that it's, uh, this, for example, bathroom uh, jobs against, I don't know, electrical might be different, uh, maybe not the same, um, you know, um, value for you. So I thought bathroom would be an ideal example here. So you can see here that these guys understand um, the value of, con of content and what people are searching for, right? In you can see here bathroom remodeling contractor, 70 searches, um, bathroom remodel in New Jersey, 30 searches, bathroom renovation, New Jersey, 30 searches. And um, because these guys are keep ranking number on the top, they get 10, they get nine. All of these are possible clients, okay? Uh, let's do another example. Roofing contractor, New Jersey. I go type it in. Uh, we're going to see this Google guarantee as well. Then we have a Google ads. Um, based on my location, my preference, sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, another Google ads on the map section. And then, of course, we got these guys over here, Trento side and roofing, of course, because I mean, it's Windsor. Um, this shows closer to, you know, uh, on my results. Uh, and your location will be different. But again, it wouldn't be bad to, you know, it wouldn't hurt you if you would appear here anyway, right? Uh, so number one, we got this Montclair Roofing, which I was looking at the website and something happened. I think they didn't pay their uh, server and it's down. Uh, but then we have this uh, resinosroofingnj.com. Then we got these guys, njroofingcompany.com. Um, so let's see these guys, why are they ranking number two? And you can see here they have content. They have content here, they have content here. They understand again the value of content. Now, you're gonna see some pages, excuse me, you're gonna see some pages that don't have this um, amount of content in the, the ranking on the, on the first, on the top three. It's because they probably have a blog going on or another source of content inside their whole website that is giving them the, you know, that, power with uh, that they need uh, with all these keywords and stuff. 
So you can see here, content, 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 content. Why? Because that's what they got them ranking. Okay. Um, let's see the numbers really quick. These guys are being found, the whole website is being found for 326 keywords. You can see the difference. This seems more like a corporation kind of thing because they have all these things over here. Compared to this one, it's not saying that, you know, uh, they're bad. I'm saying that more simpler, more specific to just one, um, one niche. Okay. Um, they've been found for 326 keywords and they have around 591 backlinks. Wow. For this amount of backlinks, in my opinion, in my experience, uh, this should be way higher. Okay. But still, it's doing the, it's doing the job because they're ranking on the, on the top three. Let's see what kind of keywords are being found for really quick. And again, here comes the fun part. Roof Repair New Jersey. I know there was an emergency keyword that I saw the other day. Anyway, uh, there's almost 5,000 searches a month. That's a lot. And these numbers were not like this a couple of years ago, even more than that. They were really, really low. Um, because of ranking number three, they're getting 721 visits. Those are 721 chances. Even if this is um, off the charts or you're probably thinking that this might be kind of wrong data. Uh, I'll say that even if this number is not real, which is really difficult to, to prove, um, even if they get 100, that's a lot. I'm talking about the, the visits, right? Uh, commercial roof and NJ 100 searches a month, being because they're ranking number two, they get another 44. Uh, we can keep going, right? Uh, roofing contractor NJ 250 searches a month, and because of ranking number three, they get another 35. And the list goes on. They know what kind of keyword you should be ranking. And this is in every campaign is different. Every niche is different. Um, if somebody tells you that they can rank you for all your services, yeah, it's possible, but it's not going to be. Um, the campaign is not going to be the same resources for roofing against resources for bathroom, for example, because you can see here the demand is getting way, way off the charts, like really, really high. And people are going to start competing more. So that means that you need to spend more resources. Uh, but anyway, that's another uh, topic that we can talk about later. Um, I know I cover a lot. I hope you find this information useful. Uh, like I was saying, if you're tired of posting on social media, um, and if you, if you don't have a website uh, and you're planning and considering to have a website, this information um, is going to help you uh, regardless if, you know, if you're interested in my services or not. Take this, um, these tips, content, keywords, and people to support your credibility, you know, online, backlinks. Those are the three things that you need to, you know, pay attention when you're going to create a website and you expect your website to be, you know, functional. Because if you have a nice website, nobody's even, you know, landing on your website. It's like having a business card in your wallet that you never get to take it out or show it to not even your friends. Um, once again, my name is Alex. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, you have my phone number. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching.